Hey everyone, I wanted to get on here and show you how to use kinesiology tape for knee pain. Last couple days I've been feeling my left knee and today it said I wasn't going to walk down my stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. First, any time that you're dealing with any kind of pain that just seems to come out of nowhere, I would just say an investigator. Ask questions where the history lies with that specific area. So for me in 2006, I sprained this knee in skiing accident and it healed really well, but that, so to speak, trail has been created with an injury. So as I'm getting older, things can make it flare so up. So just investigate, know that sometimes things just don't come out of the blue and we have to just make sure we're treating our body the way that it needs to be treated. Don't ignore these things, try to take care of it. And if you don't know how, then reach out to somebody that might be able to help you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. First right thing now. I like to do is put on some deep blue rub, which is amazing for muscle joint pain. And this can sit on the area for just a couple minutes because we do actually want to wipe any residue away that's still makes it soft and silky, just so the tape will stick better. Now you can use whatever muscle cream you have, unless you prefer not to. I love Deep Blue by doTERRA. If you need some, call me. Um, and then I have the amazing little wipes. They're actually doTERRA as well, on guard wipes. Doesn't um, get on the tape. So for time's sake, I have pre-cut a couple of pieces. Now these I measured to go around the knee and they will stretch. So when you measure a piece, you want it to be almost the size of what you want to take. And then I will show you how to cut a piece because there'll be three pieces for the knee. So you'll normally get rolls like this, lots of different types of tape. Um, you can find them in a lot of different places, online, at the pharmacy, usually the stores. Anyway, so we're going to put another piece right here. So from these, you'll just cut a piece that will wrap around the knee a little bit, which I have here. And then you can fold it in half and trim the edges so they're rounded. And that is going to make it harder for the tape to come off because it's not going to have those sharp edges to catch on stuff. The nice thing about this tape, though, is that the last inch or two, you're not going to have any tension on it. So if the ends come up, you can just trim them and it'll still be effective. So the first one we're gonna do, see I trimmed my edges, is I'm gonna decrease the pain from underneath the patella. So we'll tear the paper from behind and then we'll separate the paper, try not to touch the tape or fold it in on itself. You're gonna have about, like I said, an inch and a half, two, in, uh, two inches. Keep a good amount of pressure on both sides, like covering both ends so it's evenly distributed. And you want to go 100% by pulling it tight. You'll know that's 100% stretch. And increasing pain right here underneath the patella, which is the patella femoral pain. And uh, if you pull it 100%, back off 50%, and then we're going to place it right in the center underneath the patella or kneecap. So then these ends, we just take off and lay them down with no tension. So if they do come up, the ends can just be trimmed away. So then we have two more pieces that are gonna support the joint. So the first one, you'll just rip off the end and take the end off two inches and then you're going to place that, you're going to attach it to the top mid-thigh, right above the kneecap. 
Now this one again is going to be supporting the joint so it's attached a little bit different. You take the tape off to the end, leave about two inches. Again, pull it 100% so you know. Keep your knee bent, try not to have pressure on the leg. And then back it off to 50% and then follow it around. And we're just going to be guiding it at that 50% tension down to underneath the patella. If it's like right under this tape, then that vicinity is good. A okay, little bit of friction, make sure that that adhesive sticks. Then again, I tore off two inches from this piece and I'm going to attach it mid thigh right over the first piece. And then I just pull it a little bit to release the tape, peel the tape back, leave two inches, fold it in. Keep my leg bent, try not to have weight on it. Pull 100%, back off 50%, follow it around with the opposite hand, right up under the very first tape, and it should wrap around on top of the second tape. So a little bit of pressure and friction, and what feels really nice is that deep blue under that is very cooling, very soothing. You can bathe in this, you can swim, you can do whatever activities in the tape. Wear it for three to five days. Um, if you're allergic to the adhesive, don't take it off. And you want to take it off when it's nice and wet and you can use some oil. So like body oil, olive oil even, any kind of oil that you can put on your skin that you have at home. And it will loosen up that adhesive. If you love doTERRA essential oils like I do, you can even use some lemon oil or lime because that's really great for um, adhesive. And then of course you just wash it off with soap. So that's how you're going to remove the tape. So if you're not having any issues with it, then try to leave it on three to five days. Um, you can do any activities with it and don't rip it off like a band-aid. So you can trim the edges if they come up. How it feels. I was having problems bending. Coming back, I feel it a little bit, but I feel like I might be able to take the stairs. <laughs> So this is a great way that you can do some self-care at home. If you have a request for a certain area of the body that you would like to see taped, then um, let me know. Or for self-massage, um, other methods to help with knee pain, there's lots of things that you can do. So I look forward to helping in any way I can and have a wonderful day.